Hi everybody, this is Michelle from Creative Operation and I've got my Easter project to show you. This is a project that we're doing with uh, just a few friends and it is our Easter project and the idea of the project was to do something with a basket and it could be anything with a basket. It could be a card with a basket on it, it could be whatever. So I decided to pretty much go literal on this and make a basket However, I decided to do it with a wreath um, kind of style so I could hang it on my front door. Right now it's hanging on my bedroom door so I can take this video. But anyway, um, I'm going to kind of give you a rundown of what I did uh, with it and show you a little something. And I'm going to apologize right now. I'm doing this on my iPhone and uh, it's going to be a little bit shaky so I hope you all don't get seasick. So here we go. So what I did was I made kind of basically a skinny basket and if I go around to the side you'll kind of see that it's only an inch wide. Okay, so basically all I did was I made a rectangle type box that was an inch wide and then I wove some paper. Um, I took plain cardstock, cut it into one inch strips and uh, distressed inked with uh, some Tim Holtz distress ink the strips and then I wove them together and created kind of a basket shape and then stuck it onto a piece of cardstock and then in, adhered that back onto the rectangular box. And then with the, with the spare strips that I had, um, created the handle. Okay, and the handle is just simply glued to, let me see if I can show you that, to the inside of the uh, rectangular box. Okay, and then I decorated it, and of course I had to have my flowers and bling and butterflies and all that stuff, and I tried to go with a kind of a springy, eastery feel, so I went with a kind of pretty pastel-y kind of colors. Um, the trim, the lace trim, was given to me by Elsa, who is the uh, dead mother, I guess you could say. I hope she doesn't mind that term of our Just a Few Friends uh, craft group. Um, she sent that to me, and I've been waiting for the perfect project to use it on, and I thought this was it. So thank you, Elsa. I love the lace, and I'm glad I have a whole bunch more because it's just gorgeous. All right, so let me zoom in a little bit closer. I'll show you what I did here. I had some flowers from Petaloo and Recollections. The butterfly came from Michael's. I honestly cannot remember which... Um, you know, company made it. I'm sorry. The bling is uh, Recollections as well. And I just um, put, you know, a nice bunch of flowers on the bottom of the basket. The leaves are uh, also by, let's see, no, the leaves are Seven Gypsies. I'll take that back. It's The leaves are Seven Gypsies. The flowers are all Recollections and um, Petaloo. Okay? And the bling inside the flowers actually came from the Petaloo flowers as well. So... I uh, used a hot glue gun to adhere them all onto the basket. I love that butterfly. I don't know if I can get close enough to see it, but it's like, it's really pretty. Um, then, this is the fun part for the basket. What I did, I bought the bunny because she was just really, really too cute and put her in there. And then I found these adorable little pom pommy like chicks um, that I thought were super cute. So I put those in the basket. The green grass came from Hallmark, of all places, and um, it's all paper, so it's biodegradable, yay. Uh, and then I got um, some more flowers, and I don't know if we can show you this, but I basically, I put them on, whoops, sorry, off camera. Put it on um, skewers is what I did with the flowers. I made um, a couple more, and the bunny, of course, is um, hiding the other basket there or the other, um, excuse me, the other flower. Um, got my Cricut out, and I had a Easter cartridge. I think it came out in 2010. I think that's what it's called, is Easter 2010. And I cut the bunny out, the chocolate bunny, and I don't know if you could see this, but it has somebody already bit out the little piece of his ear. It wasn't me. <laughs> anyway, and then I cut out some... Uh, Easter egg shapes with some K and Company paper that I found, stuck those on skewers, and then stuck those in the basket. So that is my project. I really hope you like it. It was a lot of fun to make. I had a great time doing it. And this is going to grace my door um, as my Easter wreath for uh, this the rest of this month. So um, please hop on over to the next blog and check it out. 
You can find the blog hop information on my blog, uh, creativeoperation.blogspot.com. And please let me um, know what you thought. Talk to you later. Have a happy Easter.